Hello everyone, Mazadin is here, so today we'll be playing Dead by Daylight. It's a second introduction to this game. In the first introduction I will show you gameplay for a killer, so in this one will be gameplay as a survivor. Uh, also, I want to mention that in this game we have a kind of a daily questing, it's a daily rituals. So as you can see in these daily rituals you can complete some objective and get for these blood points. So blood points that I think which you can spend on your skills. Uh, if you're new to the game, I will recommend you to look my previous part. So here I'm explaining all the basic, all the basic things. Um, so let's join to lobby and after this I will go to loadout. Joining a lobby might be a little bit uh, difficult. It's uh, disconnect you sometime from a complete lobby. But anyway, that's okay. So we're at lobby. Let's go to the perks. I, I will go with the premonition. And in terms of items, I'll probably take a first aid kit. Also, in the blood points. Okay, I think I can complete this level. Level 5. So, okay, later for this one. Uh, basically, now we're waiting for a last player. Here we can see we are all pretty new players. I'm also pretty new player for a survivor because for the most part I've been playing as a killer and uh, to my opinion playing as a killer more stressful for, <laughs> for you because you don't have to actually worry about you know uh, getting a pip because as a killer it's much much easier to get a pip if you're a survivor uh, sometimes there can be some situation when you're instantly dying at the beginning of the match because uh, you can fuck up hard. Okay. So, first of all, we need to find other players and um, we will try to fix some generators. I believe that's a trapper. Uh, I can see it based on the hook. You can. Okay, there is a trap again. All pretty, pretty quiet in here. That's okay. I have some time to repair the generator. Okay. You can hide for now. And okay, he's looking for me around this area. I believe one guy deceived or what because I can see him in a player uh, table on the left. That's unfortunate. That will be much harder for us to uh, kind of uh, complete this much. But we'll see. So I have a pair called Premonition, it allows me to um, kind of... Okay, he's going back. I will try to wait a little bit, because he will probably try to get me around this uh, generator, because uh, this generator almost fix, fix it. So it's a good idea to hang around and uh, try to catch a survivor who is trying to fix it. I can see any other survivors, so they're probably uh, up on another s generator, or, um, I don't know, doing just whatever. So about the perk, this perk allows me to... Uh, this perk warns me when I'm looking in direction where... Okay. What the fuck is this?
this guy should be around here again. It's almost like he's in here. Okay, he's again looking in the, in the closet, <laughs> but I'm not here, guy. Uh, he's setting a trap fr uh, from what I can hear, probably in the window or near the pallet. Can't say for sure. Or probably he just pick it up. Uh, he probably took the trap uh, what light in here. Oh, I almost failed that. Nice. We got instantly two generators. Um, there also was a um, kind of a trap it's uh, triggered it's kind of a easy match so far but since it's low pretty low in rank thus this is understandable so I search the, um, the box the chest in case uh, someone wanted uh, want to take the item from here he won't uh, he won't have to spend the time on uh, looking how to open it okay um, so where's the other generator kind of missed uh, where he was uh, where was uh, lighted up generators okay this is almost lit up uh, they left this generator almost ready uh, in for a future case when we have to kind of uh, light up the all generators all, all together that's a good strategy if kind of a i'd say high level mm, survival strategy but nowadays that's okay even for a low levels um, trap is triggered okay they lighted up this one this guy is escaping so I'll probably try to hang around this uh, generator, which is almost lit up. Or should I try to look for another? Okay, he's somewhere around here. Uh, that sucks, because I can see him. He is really close. Um, he left. Okay. But in which direction? I can't say for sure. He's again around here. I'll try to search book box uh, fuck he's coming oh lol nope you won't get me This guy is always looking in the closet. What the fuck? Wow, that was fast. Can also try to lead up this generator to get more points. And uh, let's try to open the gate. Yeah. This game was so easy, just unbelievable. This guy is 
dude. Um, where are all the, the others? Where's the maniac and the second survivor? Come on, I need to get a little bit of points, at least. Another gates are open, I can see it through the whole map, across the map. Okay, where is the maniac? I need points, or uh, I won't level up in a PvP. Let's continue searching in this chest. And what is there? Let's <laughs> pick this bit kit. Oh, there is another generator. I'll probably start fixing it. Or no. He's around here. Okay. Oh, fuck. I gave him a clue where I am. Okay, I'll probably just leave this for now. Or I can escape through the hatch. Okay, that's nice. Additional points. Not bad, not bad. So, do I have it? Probably no. Don't. I mean, probably don't. Oh, yes, nice. I got this just just a little bit. Uh, that was pretty easy. So, as you can see, I'll, I almost uh, not, not even once been running around from this killer. So, slippery meat, uh, premonition. So this guy is also pretty new to this game. This is why he was so bad. So I got in a survival and objective not enough points to level up. Um, so let's leave this lobby. And let's join another one. So that was easy. This is not actually the case because for the most part um, killers are more experienced from from what I uh, noticed because I've been playing as a survivor at the beginning so I've been Almost all the time playing as a survivor, I try to not to get caught, and prob and this is why I, for the most part, been just you know that, okay that's alright based on the hook I can see. Uh, I've been trying to dodge uh, killers as much as was possible, you know, like sitting right here, like like that and dodging the killers and doing nothing in terms of objectives and helping and escaping and I literally didn't get any points and this is why I was not even like you know leveling up properly after I played the ki as a killer I realized that you actually have to work for a fuck me that you have to actually work for points not you know for for objective like in terms of uh, uh, running uh, from the map I mean escaping or killing uh, all of the survivors that's not actually the case so we are playing against the wrath uh, I can see uh, this is a probably survivor on the left yes there's a few guys around here we can group up to and try to fix the generator uh, so the Wraith is a kind of a stealth guy who can... Okay, he's, he's coming. He's coming. He was... He were... He was. He was on the left. And there he is. He's um, after my... 
other guy. So where he is? Okay, he's looking for uh, he's looking in the closet. So he's around here. Um, I hope he will get he will go this way uh, to get this guy on the hook. No, he don't. Uh, that sucks because I could uh, use uh, pallet as a stun and um, you know stun this guy. He will drop the survivor. This my friend will escape and I will get points and we all will be happy. <laughs> but this, this is not the case, unfortunately. Uh, this guy is micro uh, with the name Microsoft Edge. Also, is not kind of experience because he tried to um, you know escape from the hook if you fail during the time while you're on the hook you will suffer from much faster entity progress it's much much better for a survivor just to stay on the hook this is my you know like um, advice if it's uh, the beginning of the match especially and there is not that much of a uh, generators fixed just stay on the hook as much as possible and wait for uh, other survivors, survivors to rescue because this way you just don't giving uh, not giving any additional value to your life you know skill check nice Oh, shit, that was close. What the fuck was those skill checks? Stop it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was close. Uh, where are the others? I hope they are trying to fix the generators. It doesn't seem seems like uh, Rice using his uh, belt to become a, uh, invisible. So if you wonder why I'm not uh, sprinting a lot, this is why while you're sprinting you are leaving marks around the area. So if you 100% sure that killer is not around you, and uh, especially Wraith, because he can uh, go in stealth, and if he is in stealth mode, he actually can be, um, you know, hurt during, uh, but for a heartbeat. It's not uh, triggers your heartbeat. Okay. Uh, one of our friends are injured, so I think I'll try to fix another generator, and after this, I will try to help him and heal him up. Let's search in the box what we have here. So actually. Uh, flashlight also very useful against Wraith because while he is in stealth you can uh, use a flashlight and it will actually burn him while he is in stealth so it works like a kind of a stun measure okay um, I can see one of my oh fuck Jesus Christ stop this Uh, no, you don't get me. Bye bye. Fuck me.
Ops! Juke edge. Ha! <laughs> ah, this guy got juked so hard. Okay. So honestly, I <laughs> a bit um, confused myself with this pallet drop, but that's okay. And uh, that was a nice juke. So where are the other guys? Okay, I'll try to heal him up. Oh, you know, just probably I'll try to keep quiet. Okay, now we can go. So the raid probably will be around the um, exit gates, and then so can probably go this way. So the, the idea is that we have to now open the exit gates and after this we can all escape. So he have to run around from one don door to another. Oh, this guy is broken his stuff. That's nice, that's nice, <laughs> getting additional points. So during this stage, if you're experienced enough, you can actually get additional points, because it's a more relaxed state, I'd say. You can break his stuff, you can fix the rest, the rest of generators. And you know, like, if you're good at running from enemy, from a killer, uh, you can juke uh, around him and get additional points in uh, escape. Or just, uh, you know, help your teammates if they're injured and this kind of stuff. That's nice. We get our increased repair speed on the generator. And I almost got full in... Uh, Okay, there is he. There he is. I can see it. Uh, this guy is here. He will probably try to stay around this area. He got blind. He will probably stay for here for some time. Bye bye. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that was easy. Second game in a row. Nice. We also got a pretty nice survivors. They've been going for objectives. Pretty nice. Uh, full objective, full survival. Nice. Get points. Got some points. Uh, also, as you can see, boldness is pretty low because this killer wasn't actually chasing us. Uh, this guy is decent, this guy is also decent, this one is pretty new and this probably this is why he died the first and uh, did nothing in terms of, you know, trying to save time for a team. And this killer is pretty new also. Well, that's it. That's for the survivor. So that's it guys for uh, introduction for survivors. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. For me, I enjoyed it a lot, especially at the last uh, match. So definitely check out this game in Steam. You can play here with your friends. And once again, thank you all for watching and until next one. Bye bye.